Public art is growing in South Georgia. I'm Ariel Schiller, and projects like the new painting behind me are designed to draw business to downtown Valdosta. Leaders in the Azalea City say new art projects like this one can help entrepreneurs in the area. It's just, it's kind of a collaborative effort between me and the community when I do these projects. Taylor Shaw is a storyteller. His tools are a paint, a brush, and a city wall. He's using that canvas to tell Valdosta's story. He draws inspiration from an old postcard. That paper reminds him of the quirky side of the Azalea City. There was like a, a circus, Barnum and Bailey's or something came to town a long, long time ago. And the elephant got loose and went on a rampage and there's a whole story behind it. So that's, uh, that's like our weird history imagery in there. He also features building blocks of the area economy. Things like Satsumas, which are our biggest export from Valdosta. Um, we have Coca-Cola, which historically is a very large presence. And I think it was the second bottling company in Georgia was created here. This work of art is jam-packed with imagery local to Valdosta. Smaller towns like Valdosta are embracing public art more with a bigger purpose. You get down here, you're able to take a selfie. You can walk from here, you can go to a, a great Mediterranean restaurant. That's David DeSalvo. He's executive director for Visit Valdosta. It really brings everything together and ties it all together for us as a destination. It's not just the art attracting people to the area. We have a lot of private investment going on. Of course, behind us we have the courthouse, the renovation of the courthouse. So we continue to develop our downtown area and make it somewhere where people want to come and visit. Visit and contribute to the future of the city's economy while appreciating the past. I hope they take pictures with it. Um, I hope that there's, you know, some realization that there's cool stuff going on in Valdosta and that they stop and hang out downtown and walk around and support local businesses. And really, that's kind of what that's all about for me. DeSalvo says there are more murals and art coming to downtown, as well as some other projects he couldn't quite talk about just yet. Shaw's next mural is already in the works. It's expected to be done in about 10 days, weather permitting. Reporting in Valdosta, Ariel Schiller, ABC 27.